Do you wish that you could break up with sugar for good, but you have no idea how? Did you know that most of your sugar cravings aren't even yours? That's right. 95% of our sugar cravings actually come from our gut. So while I'm filming this, it is early January and sugar season has been in effect since Halloween. Think about it, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, then Valentine's and then Easter is basically an entire season of sugar for the sugar marketers of the world. So if you're anything like me, I'm pretty good at avoiding sugar at Halloween and I might have a piece of pie at Thanksgiving and get right back on track, but the month of December is my downfall. I love baking Christmas cookies with my little boy and then someone brings cookies into the office and then someone brings you a pan of baklava and then and then and then and all of a sudden it's January 1 and you're like, I need sugar! <laughs> So that's why this month is my favorite month to go on the Craving Crusher Cleanse. And it's a simple two week cleanse that really works to restore the flora in your gut and help you feel better so that you can cruise into your new year without sugar by your side. But before we begin, make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you are notified each and every week when we release our fresh new content. If you're already a subscriber to this channel, Channel, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. My name is Dr. Brandy Rose Lipscomb and I'm a naturopathic doctor here at Essential Wellness in Arlington, Washington. I also run an online program with clients across the U.S. focused on pain relief, focused on kind of regenerative medicine using an advanced electromedical device that I talk about all the time and you'll see a link to in the description below. So most of the time we're talking about pain, right? And Avoiding sugar is one of the main things that I recommend as far as dietary strategies go to actually relieve pain. Why? Because sugar creates an inflammatory condition in our body. It creates a more acidic condition in our body. If you've ever struggled with, you know, arthritis or fatigue or brain fog or feeling like you're uh, acidic and kind of cranky on the inside, sugar is probably a part of the problem but it's extremely addictive, right? So how do we stop the sugar cravings and how do we end our relationship with sugar for good? I'm about to show you. So this isn't just a cleanse for people who are in pain. This is something that I recommend all the time to clients who are dealing with skin issues, cancer, autoimmune conditions, fatigue, and just not feeling their best. Or they feel okay, but maybe they have that extra five to 10 pounds to lose, and they do really well eating throughout the day until like eight o'clock at night comes, and then they go into the cupboard and they look for anything they can get their hands on. So let's take a look at how this happens. When we eat sugar, the yeast that are part of the normal flora in our gut feed on those simple sugars and they multiply and divide. And then those yeast need more sugar. And so they send up signals to your brain to say, hey, how about a candy bar? How about a brownie? Look at those cookies over there. They look really good, don't they? Please, pretty please. And you don't even know that it's not you craving these foods. It is the, the, the bugs in your gut that need sugar or they're going to die. They're living organisms and they want to survive just like you do. And so they really are clever at sending up these signals to get you to eat more sugar. If you're having a lot of sugar cravings, I want you to know that it's not your fault. Your flora is out of balance in your gut and we're about to fix that. How do we do it? Let's dive in. The Craving Crusher Cleanse is a two week diet and supplement program. Two weeks, you can do two weeks. I would say three and you're welcome to do this for three if you get into two weeks and you feel so great. Keep going for a third week, why not? But I want this to be achievable. I want this to be something that you're successful at. So I'm making this a two week cleanse. First, is Candybactin AR by Metagenics. 
Candybactin AR by Metagenics has essential oils of thyme and oregano in it, along with a little bit of sage and melissa to stabilize those volatile essential oils. For this Crusher Cleanse, I typically recommend two gel caps twice daily for 14 days with plenty of water. If you're gonna take oregano oil, make sure it's in a capsule. And by the way, oregano is not something that we should be taking every single day of our lives. Just like an antifungal medication, antifungals are hard on the liver. So this isn't something that you wanna do every day of your life. This is something we do in, in short, concise blasts to kill things off, bind them up, move them out, and move on with our lives. So my second pick to take with the Candybactin AR is the Blue Heron Detoxifying Formula from Integrative Therapeutics. Now, my reasons for picking this formula are that it uses flax, which has an anti-inflammatory effect, as well as rice bran as the main sources of fiber to bind those dead bugs. And it pr provides a nice blend of probiotic species, as well as some marshmallow, slippery elm, and fenugreek, mucilaginous herbs that kind of lubricate the intestinal tract and make it easier for you to move those contents on through the intestinal tract. My recommendation with this one is typically three capsules twice a day. And now that we've killed our sugar bugs, we've bound them up with our fibrous mucilaginous herbal formula, now we need to get them moving on down the track. My favorite way of doing that is with bitters. Now, bitters are herbs like dandelion, artichoke, gentian, chamomile, ginger, and quite a few others that help stimulate the production of our hydrochloric acid and help with peristalsis and the production of bile, getting things moving on through the intestinal tract. You can find bitters in the uh, section of the grocery store where you get mixed drinks, but most of those I don't recommend because most of them have sugar in them. And newsflash, we're not eating sugar on this diet. So for bitter formulas that I really like, you could, you could look at Swedish bitters, that's Swedish, not Swedish, by Gaia Herbs or Galaxia Herbal Bitters by Floridex. And I like to recommend two dropper fulls or about a teaspoon of these bitters with the antifungal herbs and the fiber formula twice a day. So that's it for the supplements during the two week craving crusher cleanse. Kill the bugs, bind the bugs, and move them on out. Now for the diet. So during this two week quest for better gut health, I want this to be effective, but I really want it to be achievable. So the rules are pretty simple. I want you to stick with me and know that you can do this. You can do anything. You're a superhero, right? So rule number one is no wheat and no white rice. I really want to limit the carbohydrates, the simple carbohydrates that you're putting into your gut that can be used as a food source for the yeast. You're allowed to have no more than a half a cup to a cup a day total of whole grains that include brown rice, quinoa, and amaranth. Grains that have some more protein and fiber in them and are less likely to really create an overgrowth of candida. The second rule in our diet for the two weeks is no sugar. And I mean no cane sugar, no maple syrup, no honey. You're allowed to use some stevia or xylitol because neither one of those is gonna affect your glucose, neither one of them is going to um, be a food source for candida. And you're allowed to use fruit. I want you to focus more on having fruit as a source of, of something sweet and only about two servings a day. And the best fruit sources would be things like apples, citrus, and berries. Try to avoid like the canned peaches and things that are just sugar bombs uh, disguised as fruit. That's right, I want you to skip even like the dates and the pineapples during this two week cleanse because it's two weeks out of your life and we wanna do this right right? Of course we do. The third dietary rule is no alcohol. That's right. Alcohol in any form is a straight rush of carbohydrates into the gut to feed those yeast. So if you want to change what you crave, you need to change what you eat and drink. 
Yes, you can have yeast in your gut that crave specific forms of alcohol, your beer bugs, your wine bugs, or your fruity beverage bugs. Trust me that when you're done with this cleanse, you won't crave alcohol as much either. And rule number four for dietary rules is no dairy. That's right, lactose is a sugar from dairy that can feed candida. So during the two week candida cleanse, no cheese, no milk, no sour cream, no cream cheese, no dairy products. Dairy is inflammatory as well. It pushes us down in a, in a pathway that produces arachidonic acid, which is an inflammatory fatty acid. So you're gonna feel so much better when we do two weeks with no sugar, no wheat, no refined grains, no dairy, no alcohol, and the three herbs that I recommend as twice daily while you're on the Craving Crusher Cleanse. And then after the cleanse is over, there are two really important things that you need to do to set yourself up for success. The first one is repopulate your gut with some probiotics that actually will help kill yeast and kill those fungal elements. Saccharomyces boulardii or Sacro B is a fabulous shelf-stable probiotic, meaning it doesn't require refrigeration, and it actually can help uh, crowd out and prevent yeast from overgrowing in the gut. So when you're done with your cleanse, you take one bottle of Sacro B or Saccharomyces boulardii as directed on the label. The other thing that you need to do during this time, before you go back out and fill up your pantry again with crackers and chips and Cheez-Its and junk food, I want you to really stop and take notice. What does the scale say? How does your body feel? What is your digestion like? How's your energy? How's your sleep? And how's your mood? Are you feeling better than you felt in a really long time? Do you really want to go back to eating the way you did before you did this cleanse? This is the really important work, guys, because this should be a lifestyle change. When you break up with sugar, I want you to say, we're done, at least until next Christmas. Now that we know the supplements to take and the dietary rules to follow, I know that you're asking yourself, what am I gonna eat? Well, my favorite dietary approach is sort of a paleo Mediterranean blend. And there are so many great recipes and resources out there. I'm gonna include a ton of them, including some great cookbooks in the description below. And I want you to think about incorporating some bone broth into your diet as a snack even as a meal replacement, or perhaps take an entire day of fasting simply on bone broth, where you're drinking bone broth for breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack, if you need to, in order to stay full throughout the day. It's okay to give your body a little break from eating whole foods every once in a while. Your digestive tract will thank you for it. So, intermixing bone broth with cruciferous vegetables, garlic, good quality sources of protein, and lots of non-starchy vegetables is the best way to really get a handle on your cravings and change what's in your gut. Personally, I like to load up on some xylitol, stevia drops, and then occasionally a little bit of coconut sugar or honey can come into my kitchen after I'm done with this candida cleanse every January. That way I set myself up for success for the rest of the year until Christmas comes around and I find myself walking through the grocery aisle and grabbing some sugar. <laughs> What do you think? Are you in this to win this? Do you, are you going to try the Craving Crusher cleanse yourself? If so, make sure you leave us a like on this video and leave us a comment. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know how it goes. Typically, my clients lose about seven to eight pounds and they feel better than they have in years when they're done. And if you're someone watching this video who maybe you eat like this all the time, maybe you don't have any sugar cravings at all and you're still in pain, you still have joint pain or fibromyalgia or, or rheumatoid arthritis or something to that effect, 
maybe it's time to look at something a little bit more proactive. Maybe it's time to click on the link below for the My Pain Eraser and Rapid Recovery program so that you can learn all about the technology that we use inside of our program and everything that you get when you participate in this life-changing eight to 12 week program. It's mind blowing and exciting and fun to watch clients with debilitating arthritis and different types of pain start sleeping better, having more energy and less pain and able to fix their bodies the minute they get into pain and they can do it all from the comfort of their homes. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, you, you owe it to yourself to click on the link and watch our webinar below. If you're interested in finding out a little bit more about how this device technology works that I'm talking about before you dive into the webinar, you can check out this video next on the five ways that this technology outperforms TENS. And if you're interested in seeing some of my top supplement picks for joint pain, you can be sure to check out this video next. As always, we thank you so much for your time. We will see you next time.